What's going on fellow Catterman and Catter women? It's your boy Kevin, AK Catterman, here from Kevin's Catterman Adventures. Oh my god! Today's not an edited video, even though usually Sundays, as you guys know, I do bring you edited videos, but um, it's been a crazy couple of days. Last night was insane. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what the f*** is with you guys? Wait, guys. I want a picture of all four of us. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. It was my, 20, uh, my sister's 21st birthday, so uh, as you see, uh, things got a little bit out of control, but you know, it's all good. I'm at my parents' house right now in central New Jersey. Um, and just to recap a couple of things with you, first off, 1,000 subscribers, and that's kind of the reason why I'm making this video for you guys. So last two weeks have been crazy, uh, especially at Cast King, you know, the, the company that keeps fishing fun and produces affordable innovation. Uh, iCast 2017 is officially over. I have watched the videos and at Casking we had an amazing amount of new awesome products that are going to be hitting the market really soon. As you can see right here, these are all awesome sweet new reels. We've got anything from the spinning reel, the Centron, which is like the summer spinning reel that I use for bass and for, you know, smaller fish and bait fishing. We've got the Centron, which is an upgraded version of the summer basically. It's got a new paint job, better handle on it, looks absolutely beautiful and sexy and uh, we also have one of my favorite bait casting reels the Spartacus right here with cork handles and a glossy nice looking finish and we've got all kinds of new awesome bass fishing rods coming out and you know you guys need to check it out so if you're interested in any of the products including also the DuraBlend monofilament leader that I'm using for sharking right now which is a really stiff nice leader you can use in salt water or fresh water Links are down in the description below. I'm going to number them, you know, all the way down so you can see. If you want to follow those links to check out and to learn more about the products, please do so. It's all on Amazon, you know, and you can read all the descriptions and the reviews too. Um, so, yeah, that's that's been going on with, uh, with uh, Casking. iCast just ended, and so now it's back to the grind. I've got a couple of awesome videos coming at you guys soon too on the Casking channel. You know, um, it's going to be a little bit more about Catfishing 101. Catfishing Basics 101 with me, with casking, it's gonna be awesome. Um, this is also, you know, let me, I wanna talk a little bit to you guys about myself. You know, I feel like now this is a point at time that this channel has reached where, you know, I would love to talk to you guys about me so you kinda of get to know me more, get a little bit more personal. First off, something that a lot of people might not know about me, at least if you don't know me personally, I was born and raised in Germany specifically in Hamburg, which is in the north part of it. This also means that I was raised in German in the beginning. I am a German citizen, a naturalized green card holder in America. And I've lived here in the US for about, I'd say about 14 years, a little bit more than half my life. I'm about 26 years old. I am a psychology major at uh, Rowan University and a proud member of the Rowan fishing team, which is our collegiate fishing team. Um, let me see. Ever since a young age, I was always obsessed with fish, water, anywhere you, you're, my parents could tell you, anywhere you saw me walk near water or anything like that, I would be just absolutely crazily into it. Um, I had a really tough childhood. You know, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I had a really tough, tough childhood. So for me, my outlet and my de-stressor and everything that made my life better <laughs> was fishing. Fishing was my my passion. And I think I the first time I went fishing was when I was about two years old. So, you know, I've been doing this for a very long time. Um, nobody in my family really liked fishing. No one was really into it like I was. They don't still understand to this day why I'm so crazy about it and so addicted because no one really fished with me. I fished all by myself. Um, so I taught myself how to fish from the beginning. I read books. And this was ready in like eight, nine years old, you know, 10 years old. I was reading books. When I came here to the U.S., I started fishing for bass in the summertime. And um, it just, you know, progressively I kept catching bigger fish and I wanted to catch bigger fish. And that kind of started that role then, you know. I was working a couple of security jobs and I would spend a lot of my money on fishing and 
you know, going to different places and different fishing trips and uh, catching different species. And that's when I started catching catfish. So in the beginning, it was channel catfish. Then that turned into me wanting to catch bigger channel catfish. Then I started watching Steve Douglas's videos. And Steve Douglas really, really made me realize like, wow, there are these giant catfish you can catch all over the US. Flathead catfish, blue catfish. So, you know, this is really, I feel like where this all took off because that's when I started to do trips, trying to catch my own flathead catfish, trying to catch my own blue catfish. And, you know, catfishing is just, I don't know, it's, it's something I'm passionate about. I love it. You're sitting there, it's a special, you can spend time with your friends, you can laugh, you can have a good time. And then I know where you hear the clicker go, you hear the rod just bend over in half and you're fighting a huge fish. Now, I've always been raised with a lot of respect for the water body and for the lives you know, fish that I take. Um, I have in general a huge respect for the environment. I am very environmentally proactive. Um, you know, and that's important for me to do things with people who are also environmentally proactive. I take fish sometimes. I take the lives of fish sometimes. It comes with the territory. But I want you guys to know, I'm always thankful for the fish lives that I take. Um, you know, I always realize, you know, when you're taking that life of the fish, you're not just taking that life. You are literally ending the life of something that turned from an egg into a fry, was fighting for its survival in this huge ecosystem, in this food chain. And then, so now I'm deciding to take that life. So I have a lot of respect for the life that I take. Uh, this also means I'm very much pro CPR. Like I always tell you guys, catch, photo, release. You know, sustainably harvesting is so important, especially because we want to make sure that we maintain the good fish populations that we have and so that's also why i'm very much against pay lakes that take fish from the wild now if you're using farmed fish i think that's awesome you know because people who are let's say disabled should be able to get to water bodies and catch fish too that's fine but you can't be pillaging water bodies the way that you are at least right now with the pay lake industry i'm also very much against commercial fishing for catfish unless they are farmed um, because it's just not a sustainable resource with the pressure that catfish already get in rivers from us fishermen. And therefore, again, it's important for us to change the whole scene around. So that's kind of how I feel about it. I, I respect the environment a lot. So just because I'm out there fishing doesn't mean I'm destroying the environment. I'm doing my part also to make sure that, you know, I protect the environment and I take care of it. Take care of trash, you know, clean up after myself and all that. I think one of the biggest, biggest things I've had to deal with, with most of my life, and this is you know, a little bit serious, but it's also kind of awesome because I don't see it as a weakness. I see it as a strength. Um, at an early age, I was diagnosed with ADHD. And uh, that later, they were like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Like, this kid doesn't just have ADHD. There's something else. There's a social aspect to this. And I was diagnosed with high-functioning autism, which you also can call Asperger's nowadays. So, yes, I'm an Asperger's. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's, it's made things tough sometimes, but I think it's amazing because it, you know, it, it also is the reason why I think I'm so driven in this fishing thing. You know, each person with, or most people with certain types of autism have different strengths and weaknesses and things that they're extremely passionate about, they're extremely knowledgeable about. And that's what fishing is for me. I'm trying to think of anything else I can tell you guys other than, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's been a tough road here and there, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm really happy with where I am now. Um, also, a couple of years ago, and, you know, I'm proud of this, too. You know, I, uh, I had a little dealing in with the law, and I had some trouble with things, and uh, with alcohol. And, uh, you know, I'm a recovered alcoholic. I, I'm lucky enough and blessed enough now. You know, I think I was at the verge of almost becoming a full-blown alcoholic, where I can now responsibly drink. Once in a blue moon. Last night was a little crazy, but that only happens about once a year. You know, I'm very careful. But uh, so as you guys can see, I've had like muddy and murky past, but now is the point in time. You know, I'm going to school. I've got a cumulative GPA right now, 3.75. You know, I've worked my butt off to get to where I am now. And I've had, I have an awesome family, which I would, I am beyond grateful for because without them, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I know that as a fact. Things would have been a lot harder and through no matter what, you know, that's what family's really for too. They've supported me through everything. I know this is a lot coming at you guys, but that's a little bit about me, Kevin, Catterman. 
and uh, maybe now Sharker Man too. <laughs> Check my Instagram. Instagram is Outdoors91 if you want to know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I was supposed to have a video up for you. I think I told you guys that in your last video about how to hook your baitfish for flathead catfish or blue catfish or channel catfish. Any type of live bait really when you're using sunfish. Don't worry, that's coming in a couple of days. Sorry for the delay. It's been very tough trying to juggle this birthday, giant 21st birthday party thing, weekend, and then that. Um, also, a video going to be coming up soon on me. Yeah, I caught my first shark. And uh, it's been tough, but very interesting in the meantime. And I've caught more than just one shark. So I've been somewhat successful. It's very tough to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I am so sorry that I can't edit the actual fishing video for right now. I hope that you guys understand. If you have some interesting ideas, so far I know there's the Barbie Rod Fishing Challenge, which I don't know how I'm gonna do that for catfishing, but I'll find a way to do that. Let me know down below what kind of suggestions you have, what kind of new things you guys wanna see. You got some questions for me, this is the time for me to answer them for you. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much guys for over 1,000 subscribers. I've said in the last video, I'll say it again this is a big stepping stone, and without you guys, I couldn't be here. So, you know, it's, I'm pushing through, and I want to create more content for you guys. I want to do all kinds of crazy things, go all over the U.S. I want to do that in the future. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. <laughs> As you see, I'm a little bit hungover from last night, so things, uh, things up here in the mental department are a little bit slowed down. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next couple of days, we've got how to hook your bait fish correctly. And then as soon as there's a video up on the Casking channel, I will let you know on the Instagram and I will let you know on my Facebook page about the videos that are going up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content. And I will get back to you guys next time. Catterman, out!